You're so white and nerdy. <laughs> Look at me, I'm white and oh. nerdy. <laughs> Look at me, I'm white and nerdy. <laughs>
that deepness of culture. Um, it goes back so many years. Hundreds and hundreds of years. I mean, Okinawa used to be kind of its own separate little, we'll call it a country, but yeah. we're talking about back in like 1400s and stuff. And it was all, there was a king that was over right. Okinawa until it was all taken over by the rest of yeah. what was to later become Japan. So they had all kinds of castles and things. They we did. went to see a couple of those castles. Yeah, the Shuri Castle and the... Uh, uh, I forgot the name I of the other the one. Name of the other one. <laughs> Shuri Castle was like this big red, awesome. Yeah. It had been rebuilt a few times, but it was like original. And we got to walk through it, and it yeah. was awesome. And the other one was basically just a stone wall. And the funny thing is, I, I liked that one better actually. Yeah, I don't know why, but it I kind of dig it. It was it, smaller it felt older. than I thought. It was older. You just you. Just, it you, was smaller than you thought. It was, actually. Wow, you have big expectations, because <laughs> that thing was humongous. I was sitting there thinking, this is big, like if you had to fortify this thing and guard all the walls simultaneously, I mean, it was pretty big. Yeah. You could well, easily fit a village inside of it. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I just thought it was, I, anyway, I had different okay. expectations. What's next? But you were mentioning that, you know, there was a separate little thing. They even uh -huh. have a different dialect than the That's rest true. of Japan. So it, even our Japanese friends who spoke Japanese were struggling with some of the words. It was very interesting. Yep, yep. They also are known for the tug of war festival they have every year. That's right. Apparently they have like this gigantic rope that's the size of a bus, basically. And they get like thousands of people on either end and they tug. Of, I want to do it. All the different, you know, cities or whatever um, get together. And, we should have like, a geek beat tug of war. <laughs> we I don't should. know how. The, the thought is whoever wins is um, going to have a good harvest that year. Oh, yes. So some of the things that stood out for me, the Gajumaro trees were so beautiful. They were all over Okinawa. Um, just like naughty and old and gnarly old and, I, just and awesome. gorgeous they were so unique yep. um and then we learned uh, when we were at the fairies Shuri live in Castle, the trees this is uh, the uh kijima oh. the kijimuna it's a fairy who lives in the trees and she does pig riding she's riding a pig <laughs> When it's we saw awesome. these pig riding shirts, that was it. That was it. We, we each just got had them. to have it. We were in a hurry. We I, was like, nope. I cheated. I already wore mine the other day. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so. you did. That's okay. All right. So the other thing um, that, that stood out is all over Okinawa, the shisa, which are lion dogs. Um, that You actually painted one. I do. It's Dang, in the other room. Go get it. It's they on my come desk. in pairs. <laughs> they come in pairs. Like there's a boy and a girl. And the funny thing is, you know the boy because he's got he's always got his mouth open, like right. ah. Okay, but the girl, oh, here you go. Don't break it. <laughs> this is like the boy. See, yeah. he's he's got his mouth he's open. He's like this. Ah. <laughs> So anyway, um, uh, and then the and we're going to talk about where we painted this. Yeah, in a we're going to talk about that in a bit. But um, the, the girl's, girl's mouth is always is closed. closed, and everybody was making a joke like, "What? The girl's mouth is closed for once?" Well, so it actually there are a couple of different ways of thinking about it, um, different beliefs. But they think that the girl uh, or the guy goes out and wards off. He scares off evil spirits. Evil spirits, and the women keep in the good luck. That's right. Of course. That's right. What is that thing? Like, women are Should be seen and pretty not and better. Good, you know, like <laughs> that, that, that little, uh, never mind. You know what I'm talking about. Like, women keep sugar in all the good. Sugar and spice, nice. everything nice. There you yeah. go. There you go. <laughs> Speaking of everything nice, um, another way that you could tell that the, the Japanese people were so nice yes. was that whenever you left, they made a big ordeal about it. They really Everywhere. Did. Like, remember we went to that one restaurant? Yeah. And we were leaving the restaurant, and the lady working there was like, she saw I had a camera, and she's like, wait, <laughs> let me take y'all's picture. And we're like, you don't have to do that. And it was raining. Yeah. And she's like, no, no. And she grabs my camera, and she goes standing in the rain. She's like, okay, take a picture. And she takes a picture. Not only did she take a picture. She was like, now, you guys go over there. She and she took another us. picture. She's like, now go over here. And she took another picture. <laughs> and she's standing in the rain, and we're driving. I mean, we all get, we ran to the to the van got the van it's raining on us yeah. we're driving away and she's standing there waving it was incredible uh, she's just, and they, they do that everywhere until you they cannot see you anymore until they're sure you cannot see them they're waving you off they do Rain, that shine whatever they do that at the um the at the, Resort, at everywhere. everywhere. They do it at the airline. I mean, A&A yes. &A &A Airlines, &A the guys it. who direct the flights out, they stand there waving. I couldn't get a video of that. But also when we went to leave one of the islands, the lady was standing there waving at us. And As I the mean, till we couldn't even see her anymore. Yeah. It was amazing. 
So one of the things that you guys are always asking us is how are the prices there? Oh, yeah. um, so we went to a grocery store just for you guys and we checked out all the prices. We were like, what do they have different here? And it turned out to be fairly similar. Yeah, in fact, like when we looked at milk, it was almost identical prices. Yeah. Eggs, almost identical. Everything was almost identical with one major exception. Fish. <laughs> Sashimi. Oh my Sushi. God. The choice there was incredible. The, I, I've never seen so much fish in one place ever. If like, we hadn't just eaten, I would have grabbed like a whole bunch of it. But And it was the, cheap. The sashimi was like $4 for 24 pieces, which you don't get here. You can't even get that here. Yeah. Not at least not in Texas. But if you could, it'd be like 20 bucks. Yeah. And it was like $4 there. And of course, if you want to see self checkouts in Japan, take a look. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're gonna check out in Japanese. Look at this. This is the grocery store checkout, self checkout, and it's got little cartoons and stuff. I have no idea. Okay, there's a picture. Wait, there's a picture. I think that's. Sure. Hey. Water. Here. Taco, taco rice. rice. Everybody's been telling us about that taco rice. We had to buy it. I don't know what this, this is. This stuff, no, that's the special juice. What's this what's this fruit called again? What's that fruit? Huh? This is right here. Oh, Shikwasa. We had a hundred percent fresh version of that. It was delicious. Coke. And of course Coke. Scan it, Callie, scan it. It doesn't like the coat. Here, try this. Ha! Wow. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna press the green button because green means go. That's right. You have money? Oh, hit the cash button. Yes. Coins and bills. Coins and bills. It's really just well, like an American. We got all kinds of bills. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Hold this. I got. Okay. I, I got to figure out how how much money Only it takes. Only five hundred. Five eighty two. Five hundred eighty two is what we need. You know. All you you know me. One of those thousands. Okay. Here we go. Stick it in here. You know what the funny thing about using this machine is? What's that? I feel like an illiterate person must feel if they're in back home in the U.S. Because I can't read anything here. But you know what? It's pretty easy to get by. I don't know what she's saying, but... She's probably saying thank you very much. Oh, here we go. But she's going to tell us goodbye. I heard her say it a minute ago. Oh, maybe Did you we get take your these. Change? Take these off. <laughs> Told you. There you go. And speaking of foods, what? I had a couple of favorite foods from What Okinawa. were your favorites? Okay, two things. Ishigaki beef, which is an island in Okinawa. But did we eat that on Okinawa? Yeah, we actually did. did we, we ate it in Ishigaki and Okinawa. Or I don't remember, but we had it a couple of times and it was awesome. Yep. What uh, else? It was just, it was uh, even better than Texas beef. I know, I can't say that. <laughs> and then the other thing was the milk salt popsicle. Yeah. I know how horrible that I didn't sounds. Eat that. But it is, it's white, it looks like milk, and it's, it's the sweet and the salty together. Oh, I would have that every day of my life if I could. Well, you know, sometimes you can buy chocolate with little rocks. Like, like caramel, yeah, salt Yeah, it's on actually it. pretty good, so yeah. I don't know, it might be all right. It was fantastic. My favorite, two things. One, my favorite drink in Japan is something called CC Lemon. <laughs> crazy about the CZ lemon. It was delicious. You know, I don't know why. Our, I don't know why we don't have it. guides were like, here's a 32 ounce, or like yeah. a 64 ounce bottle of CC. You want it? It has <laughs> lots of vitamin C in it and it says on the uh, outside, it's the equivalent of each bottle. It's like, this one's the equivalent of 86 lemons. Yeah. Or this one's 200 lemons. You know, it was awesome. And number two. Yes. McDonald's. Oh God. We didn't even have that in Okinawa, did we? 
Uh, probably not. No, we didn't get it until much later. No, actually, we ate at uh, we ate at Okinawa World. We had a buffet thing. Yes. And I'm going to just call that whole buffet my favorite. Oh, okay. So it's not That's one food. That's where we tried Sokisaba whole... for the first time. Mm, I love Soki it. Soba. Sorry. Oh, by the way, we took a ton of photos and videos while we were on the road. We and seriously guess, did. Guess how we got them home safely. Drobo Mini. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> well, you carried the little Drobo Mini. It's a portable storage device that keeps all your data protected and safe. It's redundant. It makes sure that you don't lose anything. Four one terabyte hard drives in that bad boy. Yeah. So it did not matter. I didn't think about whether or not yeah. I was going to run out of space. I didn't have to worry. I just shot and shot and shot over 2,000 pictures yeah. alone. I know, trip. I've been sorting through them, I John. know, I know. And <laughs> just a boatload of video. So what But you know what? It's it's better it's to take all that stuff, yeah. keep it safe, than to come back and lose it because a hard drive got knocked around on the plane. That's right. So if you're gonna be traveling around and you need a really secure data storage unit, you cannot beat the Drobo Mini. Nothing on earth. I mean that literally, not figuratively. There is no competition for this one device. And you could also use it at home, on your desk, yeah. or anywhere. As or long you as can use a variety of the other devices they have. You can. You could use a Drobo 5N or a yeah. 5D or something bigger if you want. But the Mini is good as long as you only need like a, around three terabytes of usable space. Yeah. You can use the Mini for everything, or you could use it on the go like we do. Yep, definitely. He head on over to drobo.com forward slash live. <laughs> and that will help you get one. <laughs> you know what else is not, and you said something like, it's nothing, it's not like anything in this world. That's right. You know what else is not like anything in this world? You. Well, that too. What else? Okinawa World. That is true. <laughs> it is this awesome place. It's kind of like an amusement park. Yeah, it's like a big Japanese amusement park. Yeah, take a look. Uh, we are in Okinawa World, which is kind of a tourist attraction here in Okinawa, Japan. Um, you can see here, it, it's like a little village. There are all of these different buildings that feature different things. For example, over here we have glass blowing, where not only are they, are they blowing glass, but they are also allowing people to blow their own glass. Obviously, it's very controlled, but I've never seen that in any other studio before, so that's pretty cool. And then over there, there was pottery going on. They have paper making. They have um, all sorts of stuff. Um, weaving studios. They have dyeing studios, like where they dye cloth. I mean, it's all about the tradition and the culture of Okinawa and allowing you to experience all of it all in one place. They also have some pretty cool caves, uh, which I've yet to go in, so maybe we can make that before we head out. But this is Okinawa World, very, very cool. I'm loving it because you just kind of get to experience it all just in one place. Anyway, I'm out. I'm gonna go see the caves, bye. For the record, that sugar cane drink was so delicious I'm thinking about getting one of those machines. Really? Oh yeah, I gotta For have your house. one. Okay. And you know, I got a piece of that. Uh, I got a piece of that sugar cane, and I just gnawed yeah, on yeah. it. It was delicious. If you never had any sugar cane, you he can just gnaw was on like, it. Argh. I was. I was like, Argh. <laughs> until there was no sweetness left, and then I threw it away. Yeah, I think the boys want it to be here in the office, not in your house. Yeah, so I know they do. From there, we headed on to the uh, Chiraumi Aquarium. That's right, where I it's wouldn't let her eat any of the huge. fish. <laughs> Who knew? I know. They had like whale sharks. They had awesome uh, a touching pool. They had yeah. all sorts of stuff. Speaking of the little touchy pool thing, you could stick your hands in and grab starfish and uh -huh. stuff. And the starfish were okay, but they had these sea, sea cucumbers. cucumbers. They felt disgusting. They were like balloons. They did not feel disgusting. They it were just disgusting. felt like touching a balloon. Anyway, this was like, they have the second largest tank anywhere yeah. with these gigantic whale sharks and gigantic manta rays swimming around in yeah, there. Yeah, huge and yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, it was amazing and it was the star of the show. Like everybody That's walked all through up, there yeah. and just stood there and just like it's marveled like at this humongous aquarium. Of, yeah. Um, so I, I just in general, the aquarium was pretty impressive and I've been to a lot of aquariums, yeah. so. It was very awesome. Uh, let's see, speaking of <gasps> awesome, Oh. We went to this hotel called 
Hayakuna Garen. Garen. It was amazing. Oh it God. was built like on the side of a cliff. Yeah. It had its own little private beach down at the bottom. But it, it kind of wrapped around this cliff, and it, I don't even know how to describe it. The Relaxation pictures hopefully do defined some. Defined is yeah. all I can say. I mean, like it is so beautiful and so well done. It's just I, we did not get to stay there. We just no, got to tour. We just of it. visited it, but the <sighs> rooms were amazing because the the way the rooms were situated, they kind of shot out over the cliff. Yeah. And they had dividers, so you couldn't see the other rooms, but your whole wall was just windows even in the even in the shower slash bathtub room yeah you just look out over the ocean and you just had a wall of windows yeah. it was amazing and in addition to that their staff i've never seen anything like it oh I mean, yeah their staff is so talented they were actually they were doing stone carving in the walls and, and painting painting and artwork yeah. um they have they, they hire like artists who are in college um, and as part of their job, they do this artwork for the hotel. They it's had incredible. like gallery, like walls of art where these guys had been painting and drawing them yeah. and they were incredible quality. Yeah. And we're like, wow, who did these? And like our staff, we're like, what? what? <laughs> It was amazing. <laughs> and as, as the manager studies Okinawan karate. And yeah. Kar wow, did I just do that? You I did. really just did. Karate. <laughs> anyway, but it was it was fantastic. Uh, I definitely want to go back there and stay. Me too. Uh, that is it for Okinawa. Oh, you have something else? No, I do not. Okay. So that's it for Okinawa. We have more Japan wrap-ups coming to you from Ishigaki and Takatomi. Beautiful places. Um, Come back later in the week yeah. for more Ishigaki. Bye. Bye, guys.